Tom, we've uh, we stepped in for Freddie for the ugly inside today. Um, what do you make of the match today? Uh, Saints were desperately unlucky. Uh, massive up, uh, taking commitment, effort, and talent from the players compared to the Everton game. You know, what can they say? It's kind of had a horrible inevitability about the equaliser at the end, but, you know, we played really well. I think to a man, maybe only Cedric is the one that didn't perform at top class. And that gives, it gives us a real good springboard for Norwich and uh, Norwich and Watford. So, um, I mean, it's, it's happened again, hasn't it? Like, Saints take the lead, they look good. We... I mean, for me, it was the moment when I suddenly thought that we might do it, that we might actually get the win, that it all went horribly wrong. We, we got close, the fans kept the ball in the, in the stand. Yeah, what, what was it? Why, why didn't we get the victory today? It really felt like it was deserved today. I, I think a lot of it comes down to believe. Also, you have to look. I mean, like, Arsenal have two world class centre forwards on the pitch. That ball drops in the box. It's like two of errors. One of them is going to score. And Saints were unlucky. If you, know, if you want to apportion blame, what was Cedric doing for that cross? McCarthy, a bit like Man City, comes to yeah. the ball, doesn't get it. You know, he has to come and get it, or he has to stay where he is. Um, but look, that's harsh. They played really well. They have a lot of effort, a lot of commitment, and they, they can be proud of the players today. And which players did you actually felt stood out today? That like, I think Oberfemi was perfect against Arsenal. Yeah. And gave them no chance at the back. Redmond came into it really well. A couple of players stood out for the wrong reasons. Hoiberg looks a shadow of his former self. And Cedric, you know, up from one moment, wasn't sure whether boy, what he was doing there. He wasn't really defending, he wasn't crossing. So, But overall, you know, Stevens played really well. There's a lot to be positive about. Yeah. So, I mean, focusing on the positives, what was the difference with Saints? I felt like it was, I felt like we were pressing properly yeah, again. The Everton game didn't feel like we were pressing. Today, no. it, you know, we were from the start. You're 100% right, John. And they, they really they snapped into Arsenal. Arsenal didn't like it. Arsenal like to play out from the back. They've got two old, you know, quite slow, ponderous, mistake-ridden defenders. And, you know, Saints didn't give them a second. And, you know, the sad thing is, when you watch the game tonight on Match of the Day, or, you know, you'll see, hopefully, that Saints had about four chances at the end to put it to bed. We should have, you know, we got one glue off the line, two or three desperately close. That's the difference at this level, isn't it? Lacazette gets the chance, scores. We have three chances, can't score. And uh, going in the next four games, all really, really important. Are we actually going to pick up some points, Tom? You've got to think, what they need to do is, you know, the worry is that after the Man City game, they didn't take that bounce into the Everton game. They have to take the bounce from today into the, I can't remember if it's Watford or Norwich next, but they have to do that. Into both of them, preferably. Yeah, yeah, so they have to do that. And if they can play like that against those two teams, they can get six points, and all of a sudden, everything looks different. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Tom. Thank you.